This week, I'm showing you how to make my pear upside down cake, and it all starts with a bit of pear prep, or you can just use tin pears if you can't be bothered with this or if they're no longer in season. But basically, we're just going to quarter them, remove the core, either like this or directly on the chopping board to protect your hands and fingers, and then thinly slice them into wedges. And if the pear isn't very ripe, go quite thin. If it's very ripe, then you can afford to go a bit thicker. Then for the cake part, I'm using a classic French yogurt cake recipe for this because it's so simple and really delicious. It gives you a very moist, very light cake. And the trick is just use a pot of yogurt and then you're gonna use that same pot to make the measurements for the flour, sugar, and oil. So it's two pots of flour, one pot of sugar and then half a pot of vegetable oil or you can use extra virgin olive oil if you like the flavor it will come through lightly at the end in the cake which is really nice and same goes for the yogurt the flavor does come through in the cake so this i used a vanilla but you could use honey or even like a raspberry yogurt would go really well with the pear as well or a ginger and then we're going in with three eggs and just going to beat that until it comes together. The trick is to not overwork it. So once the ingredients all come together, you can just stop. And even if there's a few lumps, that doesn't really matter. And that's it for the cake batter. It really is that simple. And I've tried it with a lot of different yogurts. Here I used a strained high protein yogurt. Didn't have protein powder in though, it was just strained. And that worked really well. The crumb was still really light and fluffy. Traditionally you would use a set plain yogurt, but really I've tried it with all yogurts and it works. So then we're onto our tin, just going to oil it all over the sides. And then I'm gonna make a cartouche. If you've not done this before, it's a great easy way to line a round tin. So you just fold a square of baking paper in half and then you keep folding them into smaller triangles. And once you've got a nice thin triangle, you're gonna measure it out to make your circle. You're gonna put the point of the baking paper triangle at the center of your baking tin and cut it at the edge. If you want it to have a bit of overflow, then just cut it extra to the tin however much you want it to overflow and it makes you a beautiful circle that you can line your tin with and here i like to press it down and then i flip it over so that the paper is oiled as well and that means it releases from the cake really smoothly and nicely and that's it then just press it down into the tin again the cake tin will vary the cooking time but you can do this in anything i've done it in tart casings as well before and that gives it a nice scalloped edge which is lovely it just means you cook it for less time because it's thinner and then finally for the upside down bit we're going to sprinkle a bit of brown sugar at the bottom of the tin so just two tablespoons spread that out evenly and then about 10 grams of butter into tiny little chunks again spread that evenly at the bottom Then time to lay our pear slices out at the bottom. You can try and make it a nice pattern in concentric circles, but this is meant to be very easy, so don't spend too much time on it anyway. It will be delicious. And just try and keep them laid out flat. That's the main thing so that they cook evenly. Then pour the batter over the pears in the oven. This was quite deep, so it took 45 minutes to cook. You'll know it's cooked when you can insert a toothpick and it comes out dry and clean. And here, I didn't have a toothpick, so I used spaghetti and that works really well too. Then just make sure it's not sticking to the sides and look at how golden and fluffy that looks. It's time for the brave moment, flip it round. So this just takes some confidence and just do it in one fell swoop. Make sure to have tea towels to protect your hands. And that's it, remove the tin and it's all done. Just needs to cool down a little bit. Take the baking parchment off. And there you have it upside down pear cake is ready it's really so simple to make this makes a great first bake if you've never baked before this is pretty much foolproof and it's also great if you want to put a cake together in no time at all because the prep really just takes 10 minutes and then you've got a lovely fluffy moist cake the pears are completely cooked through you get a lovely golden crust with a bit of crunch to it and it's so fluffy in the middle just look at that
super satisfying. This honestly tastes like my childhood. It was the first cake that I learned to bake in school and I hope you give it a go. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments and I hope you give this a try as well.